Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkers.com. Here to bring you your monthly forecast for May 2020. What does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what does your love interest secretly want to tell you for May? Okay. So this is going to be the person you're here for, the person you turn this video on for, the one you're thinking about, the one you want to know about the most, okay? So don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And remember this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Yes, I know that the setup is kind of funky today. Um, however, I use my other camera so much that I think I burnt it out. So. <laughs> I had to switch to another camera and I have to wait for some other parts to come and uh, so I'm waiting on that. So once I get those rock and roll in, I'll be back to my old setup again. All right, so let's jump right in. So what we're going to be using today is three different decks. I'm going to be using Lenormand slash Tarot, the Angel Answers deck, and the Lenormand deck. So three different decks and we're going to find out what your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell you? All right, let's just, let's jump right in. So what's going on my Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they tuned this video on for? What is my Aries love interest secretly want to tell my Aries for May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What does my Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Aries love interest secretly want to tell my Aries for May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. What does my Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one I want to know about, what does my Aries love interest secretly want to tell my Aries for May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right. So let's start with the tarot here. So they want things to move in their favor. They want luck to be on their side. They want things to go right between you and them with the Wheel of Fortune card. And obviously it's a 10 card, so something to do with some com completion around the situation because they're feeling a lot of regret about the past. So they're, they're hoping that they can get, the, you know, have luck on their side and things can move in their favor because they're having a lot of regret about the past. They're thinking about uh, spilled milk. They're looking at the past and they're feeling really regretful here with the Five of Cups energy. And remember, fives are about challenges, they're about changes. So they want some kind of completion around these challenges and changes that they're going through. Okay, so obviously this is your energy, Aries. They want to be wise in their decision making when it comes to passions, right? So what are kings? Kings are about wisdom. They're about making wise decisions and wise choices and using your life experience to make these wise decisions and wise choices and taking a leadership role because that's what kings do, right? They take, they take charge, they take a leadership role to be wise in their decision making when it comes to passion. So they want some kind of completion around the situation because they feel like there's some challenges or things that they want to change and they want to be wise in that decision making. So let's keep going. They feel like they want things to heal and recover. So they are ready to move past these challenges with the Six of Swords energy and they're ready to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. They're ready to say, okay, I'm ready to clear things out. I want the storm to be over and I'm ready to move past this now with the Six of Swords energy. And above that is the luck cards. So they're hoping, okay, I hope that I can be lucky. I hope things can move in my favor. I hope that, you know, we can finally heal this situation because sixes are about healing, recovery, and love here. And they're trying to gain the courage and strength here with the strength card. What's that? It's about, you know, uh, having that confidence and that strength to do this or move forward here, right? And let's see, let's keep going here. And it does look like they secretly want to tell you that they find you very attractive here, okay? So obviously the Queen of Wands, that's exactly what the Queen of Wands, it's very sexy, attractive energy. And it's like, until they can be this wise in their decision making when it comes to passion, they feel like they should be patient here and decide, okay, what should I do about this situation? Or maybe I should gain some advice here, because that's also the Queen of Wands. Queens are about advice and they're a patient energy. All right, so let's do some clarification um, now. All right, so why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Because of recovery. They want some kind of recovery around the situation and they hope that luck is on their side. Okay, and why is that? 
we're going to use Lenormand for the next one because they need to gain some kind of knowledge. They want information around the situation. Okay, so they're hoping that they that luck is on their side and that they can recover around the situation and that they can gain knowledge about this. Okay, and if we look at that, two plus six is seven, eight. They are hoping for some kind of putting some kind of work or effort into the situation. All right, let's pull the next card. Why is the five of cups here? It looks like they could be getting some advice because it says ask your angels. They possibly could be praying about this or contemplating about this or doing some meditation about this or really doing some deep soul searching about this with this card and which is making them really feel like there is having a lot of regret. Well, look what's going on in the world. A lot of people are home now. They're, you know, they're focused on what's going on, you know, with their situation. And it's like it's almost like people are forced to look at that. Right. So why is that there? That's there because of the. Yep. The tower card energy. And what is the tower? It's when you have isolation. It's like when you have separation. It's when, and obviously you can see that there's a big castle wall there. It's like this big wall that's up here and it's like a long road here to get to the situation. So, and if we look at that card, again, it's another 10 cards. So they want some kind of completion around this. So let's keep going. Why is the king of wands here? So yes, they want you to know, they want you to believe, then know that, you know, that they're going to be wise in their decision making when it comes to passions, that they feel like you're a wise choice when it comes to their passions. And why? Because of love. This is the heart card. See the heart there? This is the heart card for this particular deck. I know it's hard to see that heart in there, but it's, yes, this is the heart card. So it, it's, and they do love you, okay? They, they want you to know that they love you and they feel like you're very uh, attractive, passionate person, a natural born leader, and they have love for you and they want healing and recovery because we have two point, uh, two plus four, I was about to say 2.4, two plus four, which is healing and recovery and love around the situation. All right, so why is the six of swords here? So they, feel, they really want this to happen in the next few weeks here. They want this to happen in the next few weeks. They want some kind of healing and recovery in the next few weeks. Yeah, there's a store card. It represents migration. It represents change. It represents improvements here with the store card energy. And if you look at this card, it also looks like the person is, is trying to see things from a higher perspective, right? This bird is, is sitting on a perch and it's seeing things from a different way, a different perspective, a higher perspective. And it's almost seeing things from a, a new way, a new perspective here, which is causing some kind of improvement and, and change around the situation. And then again, we have the one plus seven, which is an eight card energy of wanting to put the work or effort into the situation. So why is the strength card here? They want to be assertive here with this, this card. You see this person is holding like what looks like to me, they're taking off the mask. See that there's a person in this card, they're taking off the mask and they want to reveal themselves to you. And they want this to be a healing thing. They, they just want to be open about things. And they're trying to gain the courage to do that because that's the clarification card for that. They're trying to gain the courage and strength to do that. And looks like they want to send you a message here with a letter card energy. They want they want some kind of written message here. They want to shed some light on some truth here. Look, there's a candle in that card and we have a feather in that card. So feathers for me represent truth. And if we see that the candle sheds light on that truth and it's like they really want to show themselves to you, right? They want to show themselves to you. And if we look at the number on that card, two plus seven, eight, nine, they, 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 they feel like this would fulfill their wishes here with the nine card energy. See, let's we'll see why the queen of wands is here. They are trying to remain positive. And if I look at this card, it's like, again, they found you very attractive. <laughs> this is like, they have a bouquet in this card. And for me, even the queen of wands is like the bouquet card. So this person's like, here you go. I just want to offer my, uh, you know, appreciation to you. I want to give you this gift. I, I, I really find you very attractive here, Aries. And obviously, it's it, they do want to shed light on the situation when it comes to you and them. All right, so let's see why this Queen of Wands is here. Yep, there we go again. They want to talk. Okay, there could be some people helping or influencing some way because I see more than one bird here. Maybe they're hoping to get some kind of support from others around this situation with the birds being in this card or bringing three birds in this card. So then if I look here, they want to gain knowledge about uh, about this because they feel isolated and separated and they feel like they love you. They feel like they want improvement and change or migration around the situation because of a message, a letter, uh, or a secret here and they want to talk to you and they want to reveal this to you okay 
So I definitely think that this person loves you and they want positive change and they're ready for healing and recovery, okay? All right, my darlings, I thank you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. Guys, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month and please stay safe. I will be releasing extra returns soon, of course. And um, do they miss me soon as well as the weeklies again. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your month.